It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is on Ernest T. Bass actor Howard Morris. Uh, he, how he described his character, uh, how it made an impression on audiences, and why. Let's take a look. Uh, everybody knows Ernest T. Bass because of his unique character. Why does that stand out so much? Howard Morris, who played Ernest T. Bass on Andy Griffith's show, when asked about this during an interview with the Archive of American Television, he has his own thoughts on why Bass leaves such an impression on the show's fans. Because he does everything the audience would like to do, Morris said. Bad behavior and gets away with it. So that appeals to him and it's funny. When it comes to what's funny, when Morris, who died on May 21st, uh, 2005 at 85 years old, would truly know. The Andy Griffith Show guest star built up his comedy ch chops hanging around people like Mel Brooks, Neil Simon, and Woody Allen. Uh, where did he, you might ask? He was an actor and writer on the famed comedian uh, Sid Caesar's classic TV show, Your Show of Shows. One of the most famous sketches from that show happened to involve Morris in a takeoff of This Is Your Life, where host Ralph Edwards would surprise the celebrity and bring out people from their lives. Caesar gets the treatment from Carl Reiner in the Edwards-type role. When Caesar's character starts seeing members of his family, Morris comes out at one point as Uncle, Gro Uncle Goopy. He ends up wrapping himself around one of Caesar's legs and gets dragged around the stage. The audience laughed uncontrollably at Caesar, Morris, Reiner, and others. Uh, kicked the funny notch up. Uh, Morris is, takes the Bass character into the realm of education on the name of love. Morris played Ernest T. Bass in six episodes of The Andy Griffith Show. He also made one final appearance as Bass in 1986 movie Return to Mayberry. Now, some fans will recall his initial appearance, trying to get Charlene Darlin to marry him, a rough-and-tumble mountain man that didn't work out, but give old Ernest T. some credit. He kept on the love train beyond Charlene. His eyes would fall on a woman named Ramona, but he called her Romina. The shenanigans went down in an episode called The Education of Ernest T. Bass. In order to get her attention, Bass believes getting an education will help out, so he goes off to attend the class of one of Helen Crump's and uh, get some smarting up. Now the question becomes, borrowing a line from The Sound of Music, how do you solve a problem like Ernest T? Sheriff Taylor suggests Helen give him a diploma and graduate him in a ceremony that'll get him out of her classroom. Then he can go off and try to impress Ramona to marry him. Very funny times for a funny, smart man named Howard Morris. Love Howard Morris. A uh, comic genius. He also directed many episodes of The Andy Griffith Show. Uh, he, I believe he uh, directed Doris Day's first movie, first or last, I don't remember sure, for sure. Um, but he's a very talented man. Um, and I've done some videos on him, and he's a pretty wild character, too, and him, himself, not just Ernest T. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Uh, Appreciate you being here. Please check out classic sitcoms, facts, and trivia. Uh, today's video is on the tragic and heartbreaking life of Anissa Jones, who played Buffy on Family Affair. It's very sad, but a uh, very interesting video. So please go on over there. The link is in the description below if you, you're not already been going there. Uh, and if you do go over, please subscribe and please share it out with your family and friends. I appreciate it. Have a blessed Sunday. God bless you. I love you guys. Uh, have a great day, and I'll be praying for you.